there and welcome to my channel. My name is Julia and this is actually part two of my Draw With Me Children's Illustration and Procreate Bugs in Forest Night Scene. So if you haven't watched part one yet, make sure to watch it first. I will link it down in the description below and maybe somewhere up in the corner of this video if I figure out how to do it. Now let's get back into the illustration. So what I'm doing here is I'm duplicating one of the tree layers and turn down the brightness so they are completely black and then I flip them horizontally and turn them around and I use this new layer as a shadow layer. So trees cast shadows, there is moonlight and I'm reducing the opacity here and I was just kind of too lazy to paint shadows, so I'm using the actual, actual trees, again making them black and then selecting them here individually to move them around a bit and reducing the opacity. So here I'm putting all of these shadows, or yes, I'm putting them all together next to each other and then I'm pinching it pinching them to make them put them on one layer so now I have shadows yes now I'm duplicating the light bulbs and I'm setting the layer that's underneath the other layer to Gaussian blur duplicating that once more to make it look even more vibrant and I also increase the brightness here and checking if I like that more and then I think I'll leave it at that yes and um, then I start working on the bugs so I'm putting a layer above the bug and setting it to multiply and I'm painting some blossoms on the bug because um, this illustration was actually part of an Instagram challenge and um, the challenge was called Month of Maybe and for this week I had to do something with bugs and blossoms and bulbs. So um, I had the bugs and the bulbs but I didn't have any blossoms so I painted some on this little bug there. Yes, um, I'm putting another layer above the bugs and I set that to soft light and with a black brush I'm adding in some more yes, details or some more paint um, to make it look a bit more vibrant and to have a greater variation in color and make it look more interesting. And um, what I'm doing here is I'm trying to get some light effects. So there are these beautiful bulbs that are spreading light. Is it spreading? You know, that are illuminating? Anyways, so um, I use a dark yellow and then I set that layer, I think I set it to add. It's either add or screen, but I think it was the add blending mode. And painting him more and more yellow details on the bug. Yes, and then I felt like something was missing and I'm just painting some kind of pattern or rays or whatever you might call that around the bugs to even, I think it's kind of to enhance the focus on these little bugs. Yes, and then I'm getting back to the trees because I was not happy with these trees. Um, they still look... Yes, I think the problem was they were just way too bright and had too little um, color variation. And so what I'm doing is here, I'm making parts of the trees uh, darker. And in the end, I still feel they are... All in all they are too bright and I think I also 
yes I made the trees um, darker by just going to the use saturation brightness mode and um, making them a bit darker but yes what I'm doing here is I'm painting on them to make them darker and here I am actually trying to yes it was the add, mo um, add blending mode that I used I'm trying to get these bouncing lights on the trees so again the bulbs are glowing in the dark and the light will bounce off the different trees and bushes and you know all these elements that are in the illustration so I'm just very lightly painting in some light reflections. I think I'm using a watercolor brush here. You can use the Procreate Native watercolor brush, but I think I'm actually using the one from the Lucy Fleming class I mentioned in part one of this draw with me. Yes, and now I'm getting to the, yes, I called them tree trunks, but I think they are not trunks. In German you would say Baumstumpf. I'm not quite sure what they are. Um, because I realized they have to be much lighter on the part where the tree was cut. Yes, and then I'm adding so adding in I'm adding in some brown to make them look darker. And yes, here I'm drawing a little snail because I felt like, you know, there had to be something sitting on that tree trunk which is not a tree trunk, but you know what I mean. Yes, and just painting in some detail there. I sped that up quite a bit. And then I zoom out and realize you can't really see the snail, so I'm selecting just the body of the snail, going to use saturation brightness and make them a bit brighter. And then I think I will, yes, reduce the size of the snail so it's not too big in comparison to the bugs. Hey, so now I'll, this was the part I enjoyed the least. I, I knew I had to do some work on the gramophone, um, but I kept that for the end because I didn't really... I don't know, what was it about this gramophone that I didn't really like to paint? I think I didn't really know how. I knew there had to be some shadows and some darker parts, but I didn't really know. You can see me using all kinds of different brushes here on this gramophone. And then I think in a minute I will just, you know, darken the edges there a bit and then I will just leave it at that. That's the fun part if you do a complete scene. You can get away with, you know, not putting too much effort into smaller things there. If you just have one spot illustration, you just have to make sure everything's looking right. But I think in this case, this was totally fine. Yes, so here I'm painting in some keys. Is it keys? Norton? It's not notes in English, I know that. <laughs> I'm quite sure at least. Yes, and um, I'm using some kind of dark yellow, but I already set that layer to a I doing there. <laughs> I think I switched the music. Um, yes, but I already set that layer to, I think again it was the add layer or maybe the screen, but I think it was add and that will make them look a bit brighter. And then again I'm using the selection tool to move some of these keys around individually. Yes, and in the end I will just paint some more little mushrooms and grasses and foliage and so on. But, you know, that was mainly it. So, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, make sure to ask them in the comments down below. And I hope I will see you for my next upcoming tutorials. Bye!